Hey there, um, this is for week 23 um, in regards to the trans community. Uh, the questions are, have you gone to any events, any support groups, conferences, meetups? How do you find other trans people locally? And what kind of activities or resources do you wish were available where you live? Um, as far as the community and um, have I been to any events? I'd have to say no. Um, the only communities I'm really involved in are this uh, channel, and um, and I'm trying to get a whole uh, trying to get involved with the Yahoo group, which is local. Um, I'm waiting for their approval. So, um, but as far as support groups, conferences, meetups, I haven't been to any of those. Um, because I'm still kind of new to the whole community. And um, for me, community is kind of a catch-22. Um, I move a lot. I'm used to moving a lot. So um, I tend not to get really um, familiar with an area or um, I'm really used to just having my close group of friends and you know nothing really beyond that. Um, and I kind of see uh, community as a good thing and a bad thing. And um, it's kind of hard for me to explain it, but um, the way I look at it is, um, yes, you can be part of a community, but sometimes I think being part of a community um, causes you to lose yourself. And um, my whole thought about the community and trying to find other trans guys and stuff, um, or even trans women or whatever, um, is sometimes I wonder why. Yeah, it's great to know other people are like you, and yes, the internet is great for that. For me, just finding you guys online and knowing you guys are out there and can <clears throat> listen to what you're going through and know that I'm not the only one, that right there is enough for me. You know, um, keep it behind my closed doors kind of thing. Um, when I go out in the world, I don't want to be labeled as a trans guy. I don't want people to look at me and go, oh, there goes that freak, or oh, there goes that trans person. No. I want them to look at me and go, oh, there goes Wesley, or hey, there goes that guy. I don't want to be singled out as something different, you know. Um, like right now with me being gay, I never got involved in gay pride. I never got, you know, when I first came out, you know, yeah, I was, gosh, I was in ninth, tenth grade. So, yeah, I got some rainbow stuff. I put, you know, some rainbow stuff on my car. And then I took it off. Um, you know, I put up a... Uh, girls kick ass, but, you know, that could be straight or gay, you know, it doesn't matter. But, um, <clears throat> as far as community goes, I really don't get involved with it because I don't like to be singled out. I want to be part of the whole. And, yes, within every whole, there are smaller bits and pieces, you know, smaller communities make up the larger community. But, um, again, I just think it, I find it like a catch-22, you know, the you're putting yourself in a box and I hate being in boxes and I hate being labeled and I just want to be me and in my mind me s looking for these communities is a way to single myself out a way for me to put that label on me and say hey I'm different thus I need to go hang out with other people who are different too I don't want to do that I just want to live my life and go about do you know doing what everybody else does I mean it's I'm going to be different enough as it is. Why do I want to single myself out even more? Yeah, if I need assistance, if I need um, some support, I can find it. The web, the internet is such a huge, huge resource. Even if you can't find something locally, you can find something online, nearby, or just something. And get the information you need. Okay? Um, but yeah, uh, I'd love to meet some local, some more local transgender people just because I want to know their experience. I know two, two people locally. I know a third down in, in Austin. Um, but I don't talk to them about their transition. I, you know, I, it's kind of personal and, you know, yeah, I'm glad they're my friends, but they were my friends before I knew they were transitioning, before they knew they were part of that community, and I don't see why I need to go, hey, I need to know you better because you are trans. You know, it's just, it's just not my style. So for me, community is 
kind of a an iffy thing for me. Um, would I like to be more involved? Sometimes, yes. I'd like to have some more resources. Like, I would have loved to have been able to go up to Seattle. One, because I love Seattle. Um, gone up there and watched uh, and gone to, I think it's called uh, Gender Odyssey. The reason I would have gone is because there's so many people from YouTube that I've watched and who have um, given me great advice. And, and I've just I would just love to go meet them because of who they are, not because of what they are. Not because they're transgender, but because of what they've put out there and you know like the music they sing um, like Trans Outlaw I love his music I think he's awesome you know um, and I like um, Jackson Jackson Rabbit I'm really bad with names but Jackson love that guy he's you know he's funny he's, you know from also from the Seattle area I just they have a thing for people from Seattle but I would want to meet these people because of what they've portrayed not because they're trans you know um, but, again, I met them because of the trans community. So, again, it's, yeah, it's a catch-22. Um, as far as activities or resources where I lived, um, I think like some, some other people said, you know, I just wish more people were um, educated on it. You know, um, I'm lucky right now, um, I'm still female, and... Um, so I haven't run into any issues when it comes to going to the doctors. Um, I expect to have some of that starting soon, um, once I do start taking tea and presenting as male and uh, get ma you know markers changed and stuff. Then I expect to run into some trouble. And at that point, I really wish there was more education out there, that um, doctors had more education on, especially people in, in, in public um, jobs, I think, need more education. On, on basically everything in the world, not just trans, but, you know, gays and, and um, you know, just, oh gosh, just there's so much out there to be educated on, but at least give them a crash course on most PC stuff, you know. Um, but overall, I just wish there was just, I guess, a community for everybody, not just a gay community, a trans community, a bi community, a white community, a black community, a Jewish community. I just want a world peace. <laughs> yeah, what can I say? I'm a big dreamer. Um, but yeah, that's basically uh, my take on it. You know, anything I want to find out, I'll find out online. And if I need something local, if I have that urge or that craving, I'll find it. But in the long run, I just want to be me. And to be me, I don't want to be put into a community. I don't want to be put in that box. So, that's my take on community. Not that it's bad. Not that it's good. I'm kind of uh, neutral on it. Even though I might have put a negative spin. I guess I'm more of a neutral person on it. Um, I can take it or leave it. And uh, But I am grateful for the community I have found here on YouTube. And I uh, want to give you guys up for the world. So, see you guys next week. When the topic is, I don't know. We'll find that out. Take care now.